Justice Jackson is the first black woman to ever hold that title in the Supreme Court's more than 230 year history. It's something the president of the Albuquerque NAACP sees as progress. Each movement down the road of equality and justice, we have to appreciate those steps. Dr. Harold Bailey, the Albuquerque NAACP president, marched during the civil rights movement in the 1960s, and he's marking June 30th, 2022, as a key milestone on that journey toward equality. I, Katanji Brown Jackson, do solemnly swear. It's the day Justice Katanji Brown Jackson, the first black woman, was sworn in to the Supreme Court. It's a joy joyful moment, you know, for everyone in America who's concerned about equal justice. Uh, inclusion and, and constitution and civil rights. There's been over 400 plus documented years of legal decisions that did not take black women into account. It is past time, it is high time, it is now time that there will be a black woman who sits on the highest court. Sonia Gibson Rankin, a law professor at UNM, says the last time a woman from a historically excluded community joined the court was in 2009 with Justice Sonia Sotomayor. This also marks the first time four women have been on the U.S. Supreme Court at the same time. I am pleased to welcome Justice Jackson to the court and to our common calling. While Bailey says he's celebrating this day, there's still a lot of work to do, especially after the court recently overturned Roe v. Wade. So it moved us back, you know, 50 years. So therefore that mindset is going to put us in that uh, particular environment. So if they reverse Roe after 50 years, um, who knows? other civil rights legislation might be in jeopardy. He says right now the NAACP is focused on getting young people out to vote and educating them on the process to make a difference in our local politics. Shelley, back to you. Kaylin, thank you. Jackson is the court's 116th justice. She replaces Justice Stephen Breyer, who retired. <laughs>